I am on page 200 and something of Spinning Silver and I'm quite enjoying it. It's a bit slow at the moment because they're trying to set up for the, like, the main part of the story to happen. But I'm really enjoying the back and forth and the differing perspective between Wonder. I think the back and forth is really interesting and just seeing Miriam and Wanda's perspective and I love Miriam. Miriam is like one of my new favourite characters. She's so she's so good at being a character. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. Now this was the book club pick of the month for August for Naomi the Book Club. Um, I'll link all the information down below. And so this is a book that I'd had on my like radar for this year and I really didn't want it like because there was a lot of hype about it. I didn't really want to pick it up when it was released. I wanted to wait but then the name of the book was like hey this is our book club pick of the month and I'm like okay why not let's give it a shot. And I read it and I loved it. I enjoyed it so much. There is this um bookmark that I used for it which which says hear blessings dropping like their blossoms around you and I just it was a fun bookmark to use in the book. So what is Spinning Silver about? Spinning Silver follows this moneylender called Miriam whose father was a moneylender and he was too soft-hearted. He would lend people money but he wouldn't ask for repayment back because he was too soft-hearted to do it. So one day Miriam decides that she's going to take over her father's business and go collect the debts that they owe. And as she becomes more and more proficient in her money lending. She is known around the town that she can turn silver into gold. And this catches the attention of the King of Winter, the Fairy King, Star. And that's the story from there. And it was a fantastic ride. I loved, loved, loved the character of Miriam. I loved her so much. She was such a strong character. She was headstrong, feisty, fierce, and she was really shaped by her upbringing. I found that endearing. Like, you can understand where she's coming from. It's not because she's headstrong because she's headstrong. It's like she's been shaped by her experiences and the way that her father essentially brought their family near poverty. I liked the dual perspectives. I liked all these perspectives we've got in here. We got Miriam's perspective, um, Wanda, who is Miriam's assistant, and there's a nice friendship between the two. It did sort of, um, the perspective did switch quite like drastically. Like it would, one minute would be in Miriam's, next minute would be in Wanda's, and there'd be no like breathing space. And that did sort of just jar me a bit. It did take me out of the story because I'm like, who am I? Who, who's head am I in now? But the thing is, is that Novik really creates distinct voices, so you. Once you got through all the characters, you know that this is Miriam, this is Wanda, this is the Tassa, this is Sturk, this is Irina. All the perspectives have distinct voices, which made it so much easier to know whose head we were in. And even the way that Naomi sort of gave different speech patterns. So Wanda sort of speaks more childlike, like she, she is... Like she is an adult in that, but she has more of a childlike voice. Like she uses words like da and ma and sort of like that where Miriam uses words like mother, father, and is very much a strong presence. But both women were so incredible. I loved Irina as well. The Stark and the, the Tsar who had the demon inside of him, that was, they were very fun characters. I will also say that there was one point where We'd be going to one scene and then we'd just skip to a straight another with no like built in context for it. And that also took me out of the story a bit, but it didn't happen too much. I've seen people say that this is slow in the beginning, and while I will admit that I didn't find it slow because I've read stories about moneylenders before, like Spice and Wolf, which is very slow because there's a lot of talk about money and setting up the world. And I can see where people are coming from where it's like, I just want to get to the action, I don't want to do all this backstory but I thought it was a really good book. I read it four out of five stars. I really want to read Uprooted now because this book was so good and like the first couple pages I had I was hooked line and sinker. I loved this book and I highly recommend this book to anyone who's looking for it. It is a rumple it says it's a rumple skillston retelling now I haven't heard the original rumple skin but I'm inclined to check it out now because this was just so well crafted and I'm so excited to find and read Uprooted because this was a wonderful book and I am excited to read Uprooted. So thank you for watching this video on Spinning Silver by Naomi and Novak. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a fabulous day.